How's it going guys, it's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about my OnePlus 2 and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install CM12.1 on this device. Right now you can see I am running Oxygen uh, OS uh, and Android version 5.1.1 but we're going to go ahead and get SciGemon installed. Now to do that, there's a couple things you're going to have to do. First of all, you're going to have to have an unlocked bootloader. Secondly, you're going to have to have Torp Recovery already installed. Now, if you don't have either of those things done, I will link you guys a video right up here that will show you the steps on how to do that. It's not that hard. So, that'll be there for you for reference. Make sure you've got those two things done and we should be able to move on with the process. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to go in here and I'll give you a link to this to make it easy. This is XDA Post and this is the unofficial SideGemod 12.1. Now, I do want to point out as of this video, there are a couple things that don't work on this, so just be aware. Those things are listed right here. Fingerprint, so your fingerprint to unlock is not going to function on SciGemod, at least not yet. Laser autofocus for your camera, notification slide, and enforcing SE Linux. All right, those are the things that are an issue right now on uh, CM12.1 unofficial. This is unofficial. If we ever finally get an official build, I will definitely link that in the video description. Um, if I, uh, somebody sees it before me, please let me know. All right, so you're going to come in here and you're going to download the ROM right there and click on it and download it. Once it's on your device, we can download another file and let me show you that file. So we're going to come up here to the top and type in uh, my site, rootjunkiesSDL.com. Looks like this and actually right up here on the top it should say all gaps. And then you're going to come over to the side here. 5.1 CM 12.1 and right there is the file you're going to go ahead and click on those Google applications and download them okay once you've got those I'm going to show you where mine are on my device right here in downloads they should be listed the CM 12 uh, ROM and then right there is the Google applications all right that is all you need now if you want super sue you can download that as well maybe I'll link in the video description if you want to use that as your root interface. Otherwise, you can use the built-in CM12 root interface. All right, so from here, easiest thing to do is to boot into recovery. Now, I turn on developer options, and I like using the reboot menu. So to do that, I'm just going to hold this. I'm going to go reboot, and I'm going to go recovery, and hit OK. Now, if you don't have that menu in there, you can power off the device, hold volume down then hold power and it'll reboot into recovery so here is uh, twerp recovery now first thing I'd obviously recommend would be doing an Android backup um, and you do that by clicking here and swiping across to do your backup I don't need to do that because right here I have a backup I made just the other day when I actually did the unlock bootloader video so I have a backup of stock right now so I'm pretty much safe so from here we're gonna go ahead and install CM 12.1 to do it you're gonna go ahead and hit wipes you're going to swipe across to wipe data factor reset the device. Then you're going to go back, back, go to installs. Oh, and I'm in the right folder. So go to CM 12.1 and click on that one. Add a zip. Click on the Google applications and then swipe across to flash both of the files. It's basically that easy. When the flash is done, which shouldn't take too long because this is a stinking fast device, and those files are not that big. I think you're flashing a total of about half a gig. So when that is done, you'll just reboot phone and you'll be rocking CM12.1. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna do a quick little uh, setup of the device and I'll show you guys SideGemod 12, Side 12.1 on the OnePlus 2. So here you go, the ROM is flashed and the Google applications should be done here any minute and we'll go ahead and reboot the phone here it is you're done reboot system right there there's the button and you can not disable swipe to disable it always comes up for me at least on this build of twerp so I'll go ahead and swipe and you should see here's the uh, splash logo here for OnePlus the next thing you should be seeing is the Saijin mod boot animation which is just always a very beautiful sight now I would tell you this first boot up here could take up to five minutes it really shouldn't but if it does don't panic if it even takes longer give it 10 minutes if there's after 10 minutes you still have an issue then you might want to go ahead and boot back into twerp and restore your Android backup 
All right, let's let this thing boot. All right, guys, here we go. We have fully booted up. I went through the initial setup process just really quick just to get it done. And this is it. There we go. Very cool. Google applications, a couple more Google applications. We've got your app drawer, which is alphabetical and uh, very fast to scroll if you want to scroll all the way through it. Actually, blindingly quick. Um, pretty nice. Pretty nice, all, all alphabetical in there. And that's interesting. So this is your back button, it looks like. This is going to be your recent button. Or actually, menu is what it looks like. That's interesting. Normally that comes up with, you know, running applications. Maybe I'm wondering how they have this set up. Okay, so holding down the home button is your recent button. So it's a little different layout. It's okay, though. I'm okay with that so far. At least that's how it's set up right this minute. Some more uh, stuff here for widgets now. No Google now, at least not set up right this minute. Let's go into uh, settings. So standard stuff here, SIM card information, sounds play. Here's your theme engine. That I absolutely love. Get more themes. Definitely got to do that. That's really nice. Um, definitely like playing with that. We do have some button stuff here. Uh, bat like enable, end call settings, power menu, screenshots. So power menu is going to be when you hold the button down, what options you have right here. Uh, long press, double taps, a whole bunch of things you can program and optimize in here, which is really nice. Battery, different things you can mess with in there. Whoops, too far. Let's go back in there. Mm -hmm -hmm. I think exciting. Status bar, there we go. Right clock, I like to do center clock because it looks cool right up on top. Um, inside text, hmm, inside. So right there gives you your battery percentage up there, which is nice. Really all this is kind of standard stuff. I guess we'll go into here, check out our Android version Easter egg, which should be Lollipop. That's interesting, it's not Saijin mod. I thought it might say Saijin mod on there, but anyway, you got the Easter egg in there if you want to mess with it. Uh, we also want to turn developer options, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Right here you can see where it says C Linux is permissive. So that's interesting. And then if you go into developer options, advanced reboot, I love turning that on. Root access enabled, I say apps and ADB. Very good. So, yeah, it looks good. ADB is turned on, I like all that. That stuff's just important. I always turn on all those things in developer options. So yeah, pretty standard stuff right through there. Let's go ahead and look at our pull down. We do have um, audio FX right there. We have flashlight, some uh, brightness things right there, some SIM card information, Wi-Fi. Yeah, standard, standard size in mind really. So there you go. Looks uh, looks really good to me. I'm, I'm liking it. Let's see what other apps in here. Anything new and unique? It is camera. Browser, gallery, yeah, theme engine. Yeah, nothing really like mind blowing here. Just standard side and mod. So there you go, guys. That is it. You are fully installed running CM12.1 on your OnePlus 2. Pretty sweet. Uh, very easy to do. Like I said, just follow the first video and you'll have no problem getting this sucker running. Hopefully, we'll have full support here from Saijin at some point and be getting nightlies and all that. So I'll be looking forward to that. Uh, that's about it. If you have any other videos you'd like me to do here on the OnePlus 2, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.